Sunday night came, Gooch, responding out of the goodness of his heart, laid down his life for us, the Central New York community. He wasn't in it for the awards. He did it for the joy of doing the job. He was in it for the highs and the lows, and the wins and the losses. Yes, we will miss you. You constantly brought out the best in all of us. Well, we all saw him excel in his career. He made sure that I knew coming home was all that mattered. Kate, you're not alone in this. This community loves you. Good afternoon, I'm Christy Casciano. It is a Monday of mourning in central New York. Law enforcement, as well as family and friends of one of our two fallen officers, Lieutenant Michael Husak, taking time to honor his sacrifice. The News Channel 19 at the procession all day as law enforcement walked the casket in, joined by Lieutenant Husak's widow and three young children. Alongside them, officers from all around the Northeast including New York City, offering support as Central New Yorkers try to make sense of this senseless tragedy. And as police stood shoulder to shoulder in unity and in support for each other and the Husak family in her heartbreaking eulogy, Lieutenant Husak's widow says it will never feel real. We come together today for a great loss, but also in celebration of a life Greatly lived and dearly loved. For those of you who might not know, I'm Kate, the eternally proud wife of an extraordinary man, Michael Husak, who to most was better known as the coach, who I've been fortunate to know and to love for the last 12 years. He was my best friend and biggest cheerleader, even when he was Superman to everyone else. His love for me and how he always showed it is instilled in his children. And by the way, I still don't think it's fair that they look just like you. <laughs> Especially over the last few days, Nikki will run up to make sure that I'm okay every time I start to grab And Sam comes up with unexpected kisses and hugs. And Gabe has been offering all kinds of distractions. The boys were most proud that he taught them to fish, but now I might actually need to touch a worm. <laughs> and Nikki is most proud of the fact that you taught her to ride a bike. And let me say that weekend was probably the most running Mike had done in recent years. So heartbreaking. And one of the personal requests of the Husak family, a full bagpipe band as part of the lieutenant procession. And to pull off a performance of this magnitude, the Syracuse Kilty Pipe Band were called in from, for, called in help from down the throughway. The Gates Keystone Club for the Rochester area Greater Buffalo Firefighters Pipes and Drums, both groups designed for fallen officer funerals. It was, it was chilling uh, with the drum beats kind of echoing down the, almost like a canyon of uh, officers on each side. I think it, it really hit home. Can you play well when it's that moving? It's, it's a challenge for sure. Um, luckily, uh, we have the numbers, so if anyone needs a, a couple of seconds of just a little bit of a break like we can we can recover from that a challenge for sure the bands played amazing grace as the lieutenant's casket was carried out of the expo center this started with us the sergeant's union detectives jersey state pba uh back after the boston bombing um when they reached out for help and we were up there for about two weeks with all the stuff they had going on 
And with a heartbreak in central New York, New York City police offering a helping hand with the resources they established after the Boston bombing. They're in central New York with a traveling food truck, water and support. It's a group of officers who have seen a lot of tragedy and they say they feel it's their duty to help their brothers in blue and sisters in blue in their times of need. Whenever a police officer goes down, um, that department's affected, the community's affected, and we come up just to show support, give them a cup of coffee, bottle of water, just to show them they're not alone in this tragedy. We're just here to show our uh, brothers and sisters in blue that we're here to support them. So if we can give them a little relief, uh, give them a little something to eat, something to snack on, something to drink, keep them going for today, because uh, it's truly our honor to be here, and, and it's an honor for anyone to, to be here in, uh, in memory of of Lieutenant uh, Husak. Stay with News Channel 9 at 5 o'clock. We'll hear from officers coming in from all over the state to stand in solidarity. The community also showing support today for Lieutenant Husak. Large crowds of people lining the streets outside Assumption Cemetery where the fallen officer was laid to rest. Some of the people there telling News Channel 9 they knew the Husak family personally, while others, like Christian Wagner, did not. But the Lincourt mom still wanted to show her support, bringing her daughter and nephew with her. Well, I brought the kids down because it's important for them to see the honor paid to people who service every day, give their lives sometimes um, in the worst ways. So it's, it's good for them to see. Stay with News Channel 9 at 6 o'clock. We'll hear from more families on what Lieutenant Husak's sacrifice means to them.